Dunk. You can find us on The Athletic and anywhere else you subscribe to your podcast. Go to theathletic.com backslash down to dunk and get The Athletic for $1 a month for six months. I am Luke. Joined this morning by Andrew. I gotta say, I'm just fired up to be here today. It's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Woo! Slam through. Taylor. Uh, what's better than uh, being with the guys on a Friday, waking up early, Friday morning, drinking some coffee, talking about some ball with the guys? And Jay. It's Jay. Is that a song? No. Yeah. It's just Taylor being Taylor. That was a rap. Uh, so the Thunder have <laughs> two games left. Ooh, tick tock. Tonight against the Bucks. On the clock. And then Sunday against the Dallas Mavericks. And I thought it would be a good time because I, I re-listened to the bold <laughs> prediction oh, no. the bold predictions pod from the beginning of the season. And Jay said the phrase, Why are we even doing this? I'll never be held accountable for this. And yes. now it's time to be held accountable, Jay. <sighs> oh no. It's I, a, I think I'm excited about being held accountable because I think I said some things that were real. But you, we'll find out. You should. You should be very excited, Jay. You should be very excited. So Let's start with one of L Man's predictions. He said two out of these three things will happen. Okay. Okay. It sounds it sounds right so far. Coach of the year. Hmm. Which I found out that Mark was actually the favorite before the season. Really? Did you guys know that? I didn't. I didn't know that. He was actually like the Vegas favorite to win the coach of the year. Hmm. So it's it's actually not that, not that bold. bold, but still could be right. But still could be right. MVP and rookie of the year. Two out of those three. Close. Boom, baby. I, could happen. Can I can I just briefly rant for something? About how right I, mean, I am. I don't know what's <laughs> I don't know if Mark I'm assuming Mark still will win coach of the year. But the fact that the narrative has swung away from Shea so much yeah. around the MVP is just bothersome to me. Yeah, like especially not even the sense like, OK, Jokic, I get that. I'm not arguing that point, but the Doncic like and I know Luca has been fantastic this year and he's been great, but the Thunder have a chance to be the second or third best team in a pretty stacked Western Conference. Very and Shea West. has been unbelievable all season. Mm -hmm. Like it's so narrative based instead of like, hey, let's look at the whole body of work and where the Thunder are and how important Shea is to this team mm -hmm. instead of just saying, wow, Luca's got my attention today. Not that he's undeserving of that high, but I'm saying like just looking at the team's success, there's no way you can – they're just undervaluing what Shea has done this year with this team and, and a lot of the narratives that I've heard most recently. Yeah, part of the problem is people are just looking at what Luca has done lately and not looking at like some of the losing streaks. Yeah. And like the Thunder never had like the low lows – yeah, the, the only time side. they did was last week when they basically intentionally. I know they were both injured, but they were obviously more conservative. They're trying the to get these guys yes, healthy, for which the is playoffs. the right thing to do. Which is also what you get when you're so good for most of the season. Yeah, yeah. They they basically punted three games and still are tied for second. You know, they're in third place because of divisional record or whatever, but. They're locked into top. It's actually, three conference seed. record because it's wild. They have the exact same division record, record as the Timberwolves. They're both twelve and four. There's actually a chance the Thunder get two. By the way, like I'm looking at both of their schedules. Oh, I know. The Bucks we'll, tonight. The oh, Thunder. We'll get there. Okay. All right. We'll get there. Okay. I just thought we'd stay bold. A little Sorry. Bit. Let's go bold. Sounds like my bold prediction uh, was I could still be right and pretty bold. It's probably not going to be right, but it was closer to right. Than, was it bold? Than what we thought. Was and yeah, we that thought, turned out to be a bell. So were there three things? We thought it was very bold. Two of these things will happen? Coach of the year, MVP, rookie of the year. Yeah, Whoa. two things. Wow. Two out of those three will happen. L-Man won, everyone else zero. I think, Andrew, I'm making a, a, a bold prediction here. I think your, pulled, your bold predictions are going to show us that now with some perspective after this season, these aren't going to be that bold. We need to be bold. Well, at the That's time, right. they were bold. At the time, they at were the bold. At the time, they were bold. Jay brought a lot of bold predictions. Oh, um, Jay brought the heat. Taylor, top 10 in both offense and defense, mm -hmm. and one of them will be in the top five. That turned out to be true, which didn't it? turned out to be true, and we thought was outrageously bold. Both uh, of them are top five, actually. Four yeah. and four. 
Yeah. They're fourth in offense and fourth in defense. Okay, so yeah. it turned out to be even bolder, even more it unbelievable. Even if you would have that bold, yeah, yeah that's been wild. Even bolder, isn't that crazy? Number two in that rating, tied with the Wolves this morning. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Be this tells you be bold. Be uh, bolder than you. Yeah, need. there is a life lesson in be there. Be bolder than there bold. There is. There is. Yeah. Jay Jay said fifty wins and home court advantage. Not bold enough. I think we said wow. it was like bold. habanero heat. So um, bold. We didn't know at the time. No, fifty felt. Fifty felt like a lot. Fifty felt like a lot. Luke, get closer to your microphone. Oh, thanks. I can't read lips. The other podcast. I was listening to the one I wasn't here at a couple weeks ago, and I was like, "Oh, is Luke just yelling in the side of the room?" Yeah, that's what I do. Just yeah, talking what, in the microphone. That's what okay, I do. Thanks. Chet, all defense. Who said that? Me, Jay. I think that's going to happen. Yeah, I, I heard it this morning. It's possible. It's Two cer- teams. It's certainly ten possible. total players. No positions. Yeah, I was listening to the Hoop Collective on the way over here, and they definitely <laughs> he was definitely named. He's been great. We've been great so far on our bold predictions. Shea forty percent from three. Wow, what do you end up at thirty eight? I can do this. You keep moving on. Uh, Jay, for some reason, had a Trey Man bold prediction. Oh no! Yeah, baby, because Jay still believed in Trey Man. I still do. He said Trey Man will shoot thirty-eight percent on five attempts per game. Wow! Let's see. Oh, we we also during that segment predicted that Trey Man would be on the Hornets. Really? No, being dead serious. Really? Because really? Jay said something like, "Oh, he needs to." Let's see. Oh, he's only at thirty-four percent with the Hornets. Um. Jay said, I wish that he was on the Bucks," And I said, no, he needs to be on a bad team so that he can spread his wings. And then Jay says, send him to the Hornets. Wow. wow. 40, so he was, for Oklahoma City, he was 42% on one and a half <clears throat> attempts per game. Okay, so Jay's, one and a half Jay's still at 30, 36.8%. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We're, we're, we're like... We're like, we're like, like pro- profits. Yeah. Yeah. Modern day profits. We Jay, should all wear cloaks. Yeah. Jay said that Vava will finish top five in both rookie of the year and six man of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Okay. There it is. Finally, a good you bold you prediction. Miss, you you, yeah. You got to, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's right. Uh, he also said that Poke, and in, in just Jay being really mean, said that Poku will not finish the season in the NBA. I was real close. <laughs> you were pretty close. It was getting a little dicey. I mean, he's on Charlotte. I know. And he there was a chance. He embarrassed the Thunder. He was awesome. I don't know. That was great. Shout out to Poku. He also said this is this is by far the worst one. Oos will play 70 games and average 20 minutes per game. Hold on, let me see what he got. So let's see instead, how close he got. Instead, he played 31 games and total minutes in those 31s, 11. Yeah. Per game, so pretty close. But what is he in the G? Oh, elite. Oh, yeah. in the G, twenty-five games, thirty games. I mean, all the games. Add them together. Just trade. Average him. the minutes. Him? Oh, uh-huh. what'd you say? I said just get rid of him. Why? Why, Why not? Jay. Jay. <laughs> Why not? Jay, That's come Jay's on. attitude. <laughs> pun, pun him to the moon. Just get rid of him. Why not? They just won last night. Ooze is. They just won. Ooze is loose, man. The Ooze is the a loose. They won is because they put an, a legitimate NBA player on it. No, you team. can't say that. That's you, my thing. You cannot say that. Also, you you were you were said said mean things about Lindy mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. Well, that was when he was for the Thunder and not for the uh, whatever team they are. So when he's on the blue, he's a legitimate NBA player. When he's on the Thunder, he is a G League player. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'm all about what's convenient. Jay, you've me. got you've got quite an. You know what he's doing? He's having his cake. He's eating it too. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't quite understand that. Um, what also, the Lindy hate? Well, now it's just a thing for you. Oh no, you're talking about that phrase. Yeah. Okay, it was explained to me. Have your cake and eat I, it too. Yeah. You can. If you, you can eat either the cake. If you get. You don't have it. You don't have it. If you have the cake, you're not eating it. So you have your cake and eat it too. You get to do both. Okay, you get to do both. No, that's you what don't. you get to do. That's pretty. When good. you're making your yeah, I want both. both. I want don't. to both have a cake here in front of me and also eat another cake that okay, is so gone. So there's now. two cakes. There's not two cakes. There's How many cake. cakes are there? There's one cake. Also, Elman said that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift would host Saturday Night Live together. Uh, they didn't, <laughs> did they? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. Come however, in. however, the season's not over, and that they would be engaged. Hey, hey the season's not over. Listen, 
They're about this, to move in this together. This was 25 years ago. They'd be engaged. So yeah, they're about to move in together. Anyways, that's our bo- 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 bold love. prediction. How do you move in together when you're both independently wealthy? When you need stories I th- about I your think, I think you buy a place together and decorate it together and live there together. I don't decorate together with my wife. Yeah. My wife, my wife, my wife, wife does all the decorating. Um, you but gotta they're, keep they're it really, decorated. You think they're decorating or they're just <laughs> gotta keep somebody. it decorated. I think they. I think they when you're a billionaire, oh, working with someone, she's a billionaire, he's a millionaire. God. You just pay somebody. Yeah, they pay somebody. Oh, decoration. Come on. Hey, <laughs> my wife is great. <laughs> Probably my least favorite band of the 90s. <laughs> never got into Offspring. There's got to really? be. I also didn't get into Alice in Chains. My friend's got a girlfriend, buddy. I love that song. Yeah. We used to listen to that song a lot. What song's yeah, that? Yeah, don't do that. That's Rooster by Alice in Chains. Yeah, uh, I'm, yeah I'm not, not into that. Not so Thunder at 55 wins. This, they are the sixth team in NBA history. Was that all our hot hot takes? We have more hotness. That's it. Ooh, it sounds like I won. The hot takes. <laughs> yeah. You're so smart. Jay got third. Taylor second. <laughs> 55 uh, and 25. Oh, They're the second team ever, or the only team ever to increase win totals by 15 games. Six team. Consecutive. Six team. Yeah, first team, though, that we care about. <laughs> there wow, is, there is a certain. That's why Jay got. That's too. why Jay Can you got name third. the other teams. That's why Jay nope. got third. Name one other team that did it. I mean, I have no idea. See the Thunder. If Andrew doesn't know what it doesn't exist. Yeah, the Thunder this year. I bet it's, Thunder. I bet that's coming up. It's as a question on Slam and Jam. One it's day. truly <laughs> remarkable what this team has done this year. Yeah, Fifty-five wins and and it's beautiful. Honestly, it's hard to figure out what the next few games are going to look like. So I'm going on Sunday. And I'm like, there's a high likelihood nobody's playing. Yeah, yeah, like if Dallas yeah. locks in, they're already locked in the four or five. What's the point of playing Don Luca and Yeah, and I, I would especially like Luca's not a hundred percent right now. Yeah, you should up. sit that man. But they've been playing. They've been playing. And man. and I could see them like I could see the Thunder. If I was Mark, what I would do is I think Chet really wants to play all eighty two. Yeah. And I would start him. I would play him. I would sub him out immediately. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody on the team needs more rest. Maybe right now that he does. Yeah, he has gotten beaten up, dude. But how cool the fact that like he's played eighty games. Well, also, yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Also, they're not going straight into their playoff game because they're an actual playoff team. So they're gonna have that whole week of rest mm. before. Yeah, but why not take a few more days? I guess. Would you so at this point? Would you rather be the second or third seed? Indifferent. So the because so here's here's my thought on that, Andrew. Is I there's we don't know we don't know. I don't think until Sunday night will we know who the six seed or the the eight nine will be or the seven eight will be. Yeah, like you just don't know. So if you try to play that game, you who like. I think it's going to be one of the Pelicans, the Suns, the Kings will be those six, seven, and eight. Mm-hmm. It feels pretty locked in at the Warriors and Lakers. Like it would take a catastrophic failure by some of those higher teams or and the Lakers and the Warriors winning out, which is only two games for most teams. Well, but. wait a second. The That's Kings, it. the Kings, Kings, Lakers, and Warriors all have the same record. All have the same. Okay. Record. Okay. Okay. So let me just take That's all wild. of that back. Mm-hmm. That's wild. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, I really want the Lakers Warriors in nine ten. That's all I care about. It's fun at the end of the season when like there's, there's that we're that close and like you don't know and the so, final games matter. What's the right. Kings, Kings Kings? So Kings play the Suns tonight. Oh wow! Okay. Which which will be like that is a huge game. If the Kings yeah. lose that game, they will fall to the they could fall to the nine ten. Mm-hmm. Didn't Kings Kings played last night? Yep. Back to back, so they're, so they're gonna be tired. Dang, hit yeah. that for them. Lost last night too. Yeah, but they're playing Phoenix. Well, and losing Malik Monk, man, that was huge. That is huge. But gaining Keon Ellis, also huge. maybe huger. No, maybe a little huger. Maybe hugers. They were able to like that. Y'all talked about it on Wednesday, <laughs> but running out Keon Ellis and Davion Mitchell, that was a pretty good defensive lineup. They were really good. Both of them were really good. 
but doesn't matter. They got run over by the Pelicans last night. Pelicans have their number, man. They've just like destroyed them all season. It's two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. Is that your phone number? Is that Mike Jones? Mm. Sacramento Kings. Oh, yeah. I find this to be kind of interesting as the the plan starts. If you're the third seed, you know your opponent. Mm -hmm. That matters. If you're the second seed, you have to wait to find out who your opponent is. And just for clarity, the one seed gets... So the the seventh seed who plays the two seed Mm -hmm. is the winner of the first game. Yes. The 7-8. Yes. So right now that's Sacramento and Phoenix. The loser of the 7-8 game plays the winner of the 9-10 game Mm -hmm. and the winner of that game plays the number one seed yeah which is crazy unfair for the one seed that they don't they have basically like a no time to prep before they know who exactly they're playing it's the the nuggets who cares but they're They're just gonna be like okay we'll just lumber our way into this and that's true if there is one team that does not care the most out of all the teams that could have been the one seed it is the yeah but what if it was minnesota I don't care about then that. whatever, dude. Sorry, but you know Minnesota. what I mean, though. Lose, man. Let's go. <laughs> if it was the Thunder, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It day. doesn't seem fair. But if to it get was, the one but if it was the Thunder and you're waiting, and it's like it could be Lakers or Phoenix, and you're like, holy smokes! Like the prep for those two teams is so different. Or oh. Golden State, and you're waiting. Holy all, smokes! All week. Yeah. Dang. It's just a weird disadvantage. When did they release the actual like schedule? Like of not not with the teams obviously, but like yeah, I don't know because I've got I'm out of town next weekend, so I'm gonna need to know. Well, they how need... in trouble I'm gonna be trying to find a playoff game. Where are you gonna be? I don't think the Thunder will play Saturday. Yeah, they will. I mean, if where are you the third seed? They will. Where are you gonna what be about Sunday though? Where are you gonna be? If they're two, they'll probably play Sunday. What about Sunday though? If they're the two, which I think they can be. <laughs> Because Minnesota has not the easiest last two games of the season. They play Atlanta and Phoenix. Yeah, and Phoenix needs to win, maybe, or not. I don't know. Jay, where are you going? I'm not telling you. You're going to Las Vegas, I told you you guys last week. You just don't listen to Uh, me. Marymount. What's Marymount? I think it's an animal. (laughs) Marmot. <laughs> New or- so New Orleans actually, their last two games are against the Warriors and the Lakers. Say that again. Who is that? New Orleans against the Lakers and the Warriors. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. What are the Lakers doing these days? How do they feel? I mean, they're so, good. So <laughs> they're, they're re- they've been they've been wasn't AD good. out though? <clears throat> they're on a two game losing streak right now. So really good. Um. Andrew just moved on. We're bird fans now. Yeah. Bird I, night. Bird nights. Yeah, it's going to, it's, I mean, we honestly just will have no idea. But I just wonder about just have, having the three seed, knowing your opponent, just having those extra days to prep. No, I totally agree with you, especially when you have a coach. So good. Mark D. Same thing in both directions, though, right? Like, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The seven sure. team's not going to have a lot of time to play. They're also going to come in a little bit more tired, although it does sometimes give an advantage to the team that, like you see this sometimes in the NFL, like the teams that come off of a bye week mm-hmm. in the playoffs, mm-hmm. they it takes them a while to get back in the flow of playing when a team that just played the week before is just far more advanced. Mm-hmm. You look at the playoff probability odds mm. on basketball reference, the Dot Thunder com. are 64.9%. For the three seed, 17 for the one and two. Nice. And then the Pelicans are 80.9% for the six seed. Okay. So it's it's very likely that that will be the matchup. Well, you said Sacramento and Phoenix pay, plays tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then we'll, if Phoenix loses, then we can basically count the Pelicans as the... Yeah, Phoenix is... More likely to be the, the seven eight, like sixty yeah. percent, yeah, to be seven eight. And you call? Didn't you call Pelicans dream scenario, Taylor? <coughs> sure did. We don't use those words. I, I do. You shouldn't <laughs> use. Those I do. I'm a dream man. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Dream scenario. But it'll be nice for the Thunder to have a week of rest, oh. regardless of if they land it. I could two take or a three. Week, I could take a week of rest. 
Yeah, That'll especially so considering restful. Shay and Jada <clears throat> have been trying really hard the past couple weeks to just be 100%. It'll just help. Maybe they'll be 110%. Wow. Times. That I think they will. Sure. All right. Anything else about the upcoming schedule? No Giannis tonight. And no OKC? Dame, probably. Did they say that? Well, it's, I read it yesterday that he was doubtful. Let me see what the report says today. I've got the internet. Well, yeah. we have the Mavs on <clears throat> two thirty on Sunday. That's a bad time. Yeah, but it who's gonna it's the last game of the season. And who knows who's playing? Game. Yeah. May not matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Giannis is out. Um no, he's not even on it. Dame's not even on this one. Dame is doubtful. This is the NBA's report. Which is the right one. Brooke Lopez is questionable. Chris Middleton is questionable. Bobby Portis is questionable. Okay. All with rest or injury management. So they may not play anybody tonight. They may just say, we give up. Which is interesting because they're only a game up on the Knicks. Yeah, on the Knicks. I was just looking at that. And the Knicks have... Jalen Brunson's been on a heat hurt. Oh, and the too. Knicks have like two gimmies at the end here. Brooklyn and Chicago. They have their cake and they're eating it. Yeah. They have cake that they eat. Who doesn't have cake and also Are you cake eat it? guys? Are you cake men? I like cake. I mean, I like anything that's sweet. I'm with you. I don't I like I'm not. Cake. But like, I like cake much more than pie. <laughs> See, I'm I'm an opposite. I'm an opposite of that. I know. We've talked about this. Have right. we talked about that? <clears throat> no. I'd rather have a savory pie. Milwaukee like plays OKC meat. OKC yeah. in Orlando on the road. And Orlando's been kind of garbage lately. But yeah, they had the two seed and they kind of controlled their own destiny and then just choked it all away. So if Milwaukee, so then Milwaukee That's why I don't would be understand. the three seed. I guess I just don't know why they're resting. I guess maybe they are fine. They're the tired. Fine. Yeah, I'm about to say it's like at this point, Giannis isn't playing. Like if you're going to be the two or the three seed, does it matter? Ultimately, is probably their decision making. And so Doc's who, like, guys, I have so much playoff experience. Don't worry. Also, yeah, it's funny. It I am you, wildly successful. And <laughs> any issue we have is y'all's fault. You actually probably would rather be the three seed. That's what I'm East saying. See, that's what they're doing. Because the opponent is for the two seed. You're waiting on a Philly-Miami Heat matchup. Yeah. Right. Which I wouldn't want part of that at all. I would tank these <laughs> next two games to get to the three and let New York handle that. Because they will likely, they'll either play Orlando or Indiana yeah. at the yeah, three seed. Win. It's like you can beat you can beat those teams without Giannis. Right. Yeah. Yeah, imagine. You Not have that to, they will, but they could. And Bobby Portis, what a guy. You remember when he punched a, oh my gosh, he punched a dude that played Miritich. for. Yeah. Yeah. Miritich. Did you know, have I told you how much he loves Sean Hyken? I told you guys about no. that. Bobby Portis like yeah. Sean Hyken? Like loves Sean Hyken. Why? That's like his guy. I don't know. Huh. He used Just to likes him. He used to cover I mean Sean used to cover the Bulls. Yeah. But it's a very funny relationship that those guys have. Like Maybe they, Bobby Portis likes uh, progressive rock, prog rock? Is that what? Um Who's Sean Hyken. Sean Hyken likes prog. Let's about to say think. like I, he? is he did I am I, I think it's somebody different? Is this guy that played for uh no Sean Hyken's a uh covers the Blazers? Yeah. Loves Prague Rock. I think he loves, loves Prague Prog Rock. Rock. How do you know that? I think I saw some tweets. What about even it. would be what is a band that is prog rock? That's a great Rush. <laughs> Rush Floyd. is that what prog rock is? Is that prog yeah. rock? Yes. What does prog stand Sticks. for? Progressive. Progressive. Like Technical, different, weird time signatures. Okay. Yeah, sticks. All right. I don't know. I've run out of bands that I'd know. Tool. All right. Do you have a Tayshawn's Factoids? That feels so... Yeah, I do. What a wild collection of bands. It's Tayshawn's Factoid. Bigger and victory. Tayshawn's Factoid. Bigger and victory. Hey, I'm Tayshawn. This is my Victory Dictory. And every week, you know what I bring you guys? Uh, Consistently great content. Facts and stats. That's all this segment is. We don't do anything else. And after I give you these facts and stats, we're going to do a little I'm another I'm piggybacking food on the old Tayshawn's yep. Factoid Victory Dictory. All right, here's the first one. Fat stacks. Oh, 
fat stats. Here's the first one on fat stacks. OJ Simpson. Oh, just kidding. Uh, the 2023-24 Detroit Pistons are now officially the worst team in franchise history. Let's give it up for them. Yay. They beat um, the number two worst record for the Detroit Pistons was 79-80. and 80. They won 16 games. This year, they've only won 13. Um, and then the third worst team was last year's Detroit Pistons. Let's give it up for them. They won 17 games last year. So wow. good job, Detroit. Yep. Keep it up. Looking good. Uh, second stat, second fat stack. New Orleans is the first team since NBA. This is from Jim Eichenhofer on X. New Orleans is the first team since NBA became a 30-team league in 20 in 2004. You're leaving 05. out words. <laughs> he did. This guy did throw it off a little bit, but not using the word the. <laughs> yeah. New Orleans is the first team since NBA. <laughs> Since the NBA became a 30-team league in <laughs> Since 20- hashtag NBA, 04. NBA picture, became a 30-team uh, league in 2004-05 to beat an opponent five times in the same season. Wow. That's Congrats. playing tournament. Which, how does that, how do you get scheduled to a team five times? Have we ever just played a team that. five times? I just said that. Yeah. The playing tournament. The playing tournament. Oh. That's, oh. That's how it happened. That's the only reason that it did happen. No, this is Pelicans go five and zero oh against the Kings this season. We know. Sorry, not is it the play in tournament? Not the play in tournament. Not the play in season. In season tournament. tournament. Oh, yeah, okay. we were all thinking. Okay, the same thing. okay, in okay, season. Okay. Yeah, it's all the same thing. They did it. It was. A they tournament. did it. Good job. I feel like that was like a weird version of a Mad Lib where you just randomly just take words out. <laughs> Fight. First time NBA <laughs> to twenty thousand four. <laughs> I think five times. I think Jim Eisenhofer used Chat GPT to make. Uh, that yeah, it does say, are we like sure that. that's a real person? Hey, yeah. so l- last week on Tayshawn's factoid victory dictory, Taylor brought some uh, chip and a pickle. Yeah, they're good pickle, pickle chips. chips. They were chips pretty good from Trader Joe's. Fantastic. I so last week at the same time, I had mentioned that my wife and I likes that she bought them. We went to Costco. And uh, she got these peach O's <laughs> with tahini on them. And she's a huge fan of them. Hmm. Not one single person that has tried them is also a fan of them. So I wanted to give you all an opportunity They're to try vegan. these live. This is more of a breakfast food. They're vegan. They're Whole30 so approved. It's Whole30 approved. It's, Whole 30. Approved. it's uh, Are they really vegan? Are they sugar- bottom. Are they on, it says it on there, vegan. Are they sugar-free? Gluten-free. Uh, I doubt they're sugar-free, but they're I, they're, they're gl- not very good. They're so gluten-free. Here you go. Take one, pass it. Oh, oh, that's not the color I thought they'd be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That is not how they look on the package <laughs> at all. Oh, no. Pass it on. I don't want to pass a gun. Oh, with my fingers. You my don't want gosh. a whole one. Oh, no. All right. Oh. I've already had them. Uh, okay. Three, okay. two, one, down, down the hatch. The hatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I don't like it. It's interesting. It's too, it's not gummy enough. Is your, no, it's not. Does your wife say that she likes it? <laughs> Just because she bought a giant bag. Yeah. I mean, she feels like she has to like no, it. Oh, dude, she has done some damage on this thing, man. <laughs> It's <laughs> not good, man. <laughs> yes. They're not good. Oh mm. my god! Why would you like this? They stick. It sticks to your teeth it's really so bad. bad. Yeah. I okay. So when you said they were vegan, I was like, "How and is a like, gummy vegan?" Because it usually uses you use like a animal oh product. Gosh. And they're, they're not like, gummy. Yeah, they're not gummy. Oh, they're not gummy. And then the tahini just like punches you in the throat like halfway through. <laughs> god, <laughs> they stick to your teeth so bad. Those are terrible. <laughs> Those are legitimately terrible. I'm gonna be in my mouth all day. Uh, I will never be the same. So they also have these. They also have these at, <clears throat> in the watermelon, like the watermelon gummy. That's great. You know, this would have been better if it was like an actual peach ring. Yeah, like a, yeah, a little peach thinner. <laughs> yeah, what oh, was it's that? So thick. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. What was that? I don't know. Why did they the, have? Why did this? I don't know. But you know what, man? My wife likes it. My wife right. likes it. it. Wow. Hmm. Well, at least it's not more. If it was more <clears throat> spicy, it'd be even worse. Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? <laughs> spicy. It'd, I, be, it'd be 
if it was more spicy, it'd be even worse. So at least it's just mild spice. <laughs> it needed more peach. It'll flavor. be with you. a lot more peach. It'll be with you for a while. It need you need to cut if you cut each one in half, it'd be a little better. Yeah, not, it is. It needs not to be like enough. traditional peachos, just yeah, like, with like a sprinkle of tahini. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of tahini. There was a that's lot. That's 99% a lot tahini. Of tahini. Yeah. yeah. And I think is, they saved money by using more tahini. That is a dense uh, gummy, glad too. That, yeah. yeah. Glad that we had that first thing in the morning so we have stomach aches all day. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be awesome. Just that, that mm. and, a, and a cup of coffee that I'm having right now, it's going to be a terrible mix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's going to be a stop in halfway to still water. So, yeah, oh. that is, yeah, we are generating some atomic bombs in our yeah. guts right like now. i i had second i had second helpings of uh, the uh pickle chip no one's having second helpings. no of that. that was <laughs> that thing fills your stomach up it's somehow expanding in my yeah it does my, feel like that i feel it's like when they put the gummy bear in like the dish and it grows like to yeah. be giant <laughs> That's what's happening Your in her belly is just one giant peach. <laughs> I can't get over how bad of a of a gummy it was. It's a bad gummy. It's not a gummy. All right. It's a stick. Uh, oh man. All right, time for some advice. <laughs> Perfectly. Looking for advice is oh. listener Colin. Some peach just came out on the mic. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. Colin once says. He just bought his tickets for game one of the Thunder playoffs. What should his weekend plan be? He's a college student coming down from Stillwater, so he wants to check out some good food and a good daytime activity. He might be going with his girlfriend or a friend he doesn't know yet. He's been to Scissor Tail and a bit of downtown. The weather looks to be rainy and cloudy for the weekend. Go, Thunder. Where should he go? My recommendation is go to the Paseo and mm. go to a restaurant there. Perhaps the press for a for a brunch. Well, that's not in Paseo. That's, a, that's, that's a not a Paseo? Plaza. 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 That's what I meant. Go to the plaza. And go to the press. Yeah, I'd go to the press. And then after that, you can walk kind of across the street to the arcade bar and play some arcade games for mm -hmm. a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And then just uh, spend some time there. That's It's fun to walk around there. It's walkable. What do you guys think? Where do you think you should go? What do you think you should do? I feel like we've answered this a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, there's been several people that have asked me for advice about what to do around the playoff games. So yeah. a lot of people want to know still. I mean, I think that they will do a lot down like downtown downtown like for the playoffs so it might just be fun to just like be able to spend some time like walking around downtown especially before the game it's probably booked Does, did he mention where he's staying no okay it's probably no. booked i know it costs a lot but if you could stay at the omni yeah it would be ideal because oh, you're Perfect. right there yeah mm -hmm. and there's actually a lot of cool spots social capital across from scissor tail mm -hmm. a few restaurants in omni itself but but mm -hmm. everything in the downtown area is a pretty quick, like you can get on a lime and get there. You can take an Uber. You can walk to some places. Weather dependent, obviously. Bricktown is not my place. It is more of a tourist place for some reason. Yeah. Uh, but but all of these places, Plaza or Paseo. Pase like my, Paseo. Favorite Paseo. my favorite restaurants are in Paseo. Uh -huh. yeah. And there's a chance. I don't know when their Paseo Arts Festival is. But some of the arts festival stuff, which there's also the city one, could be around the same time. What's your favorite? What's your favorite restaurant? See, I don't go there. Very Frida, Frida's yeah. my the best restaurant in the city. Frida, one. Goro, uh, Picasso. Yeah, okay. all, Those all three. Really what yeah. kind of food? You know what I went to all? the other day? Oh, so that's so good is Tamashi Ramen. That's so good. It's so it's very good. Freaking good. Anyway, they have one in Edmond now. Yeah, over that's by good. Hideaway. It's good. But yeah, so there's Goro's better. If you can get down, stay downtown. So even if Omni doesn't work, Omni's the best proximity. Get you a little Airbnb or a VRBO down in downtown area. It's where you want to be. Uh, you can walk to even the midtown area is really fun with McNelly's and you've yeah. got a few different waffle champion down the street there, mm -hmm. Fassler Hall, which you know mm -hmm. we've been to a lot. So mm -hmm. there it's even as I'm saying those things is just a reminder that Oklahoma city is not quite as a desolate wasteland as it sometimes portrayed, but you should have, if you come and spend two or three days and just kind of go all in for it, you'll have a ball. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's a chance the 25th to the 28th is the Oklahoma City Arts Festival, which should be around. The, I mean, that well, game one will be next Saturday, right? Yeah, they might be out of town next better. Saturday or Sunday. So they will likely be on the road. Really pulling for Sunday. <laughs> Keep saying that. Yeah, me too. Actually. That another place that's good that's downtown is that kitchen two five seven <laughs> two three two four. Three, two, four. Three, two, four. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um I just name n- n- numbers. Yeah. I give but you I mean I've got it's good. hundred restaurants. Cheevers <sighs> is fantastic, also owned by Good Egg. Yeah, like, good. there are so many great Cheevers. restaurants. Cheevers is great. Any any you can get anything there. Yep. It is. Hey, if you want a good Pizzeria Gusto or Gusto, we freaking their patio is awesome. Yeah. Go to Big walk. Truck for breakfast tacos. Great. Yeah, Big Truck's fantastic. Yeah, true. Yeah, uh, but, Harvard Harvey Bakery's really good. Oh, great spot for breakfast. Yeah, the line, hey, the line's anything. too long. No, it goes fast. It's it goes not fast. bad. Yeah. It looks long. Plus, it's, it's really not bad. You would talk about like if you want a okay. place just to sit, like if you want to get some work done in the morning or whatever, you just pull your laptop, get there uh, early. Yeah, grab a spot. It's a be hard to find a spot on a weekday. It's not. But. I haven't been there on a weekend. Is it wild? It's busy. It's line wild. long. Line long. Hot busy. Line long. <laughs> Hot busy. Line long. <laughs> it is. It, I right. went. What was Let's, the first word? Hard busy. Went. Uh, Harvey busy. Line long. Harvey I, busy. Line long. I <laughs> went. Halls, Halls is the Harvey people. Halls pizza. Pizza. Harvey. Yeah, Halls, Harvey. Yeah. Harvey. Halls is really good. Halls Harvey oh, people. To, I didn't even mention Barrios. <laughs> That's yeah. all kind of in the Midtown area. Oh, yeah. Barrios is RJ's good. Summer Club, which most of the time I like. And sometimes I go in there and it the servers and bartenders just act put out that you get there. Like last time I was there, I was oh. like, oh, y'all don't want us to be here. No, they're trying to hang. Yeah, they're trying to chill. Chill. It's dark. It's like a cave. Yeah. It has a cool vibe. It's dank. And somewhat it's dank. Cheap, somewhat cheap drinks. But it is it is definitely something where you walk in and you're like, water is oh, basically we free. For being here. Sorry. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of options. There's a lot of options there. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll do some Twitter questions. Hey, we're back from that quick break. It's time to do some Twitter questions. Twitter questions. You've got questions and you ask them on Twitter. (laughs) Now we answer them for you. This is Twitter questions. Now let's get down to it. All right, our first Twitter question comes from at Holy Jesus One Two One Two, who says, "What is happening?" I don't know. (laughs) With uh, who wants to know? With OKC potentially finishing second this year in the West and being in the play-in last year, do you see similarities and similar outcome to the Memphis team who also finished second in 2021-22 after being in the play-in? Also, March Giddy makes me excited for the Olympics. I mean, you can see similarities in that they're young teams that are progressing, but I wouldn't draw many other comparisons there to Memphis, to be honest. Um, Also... March Giddy was great. He he looks so much better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he totally was different. Real bad against the Kings. He made me insane against the Kings. He had some moments though. Like he still like went and scored at the basket. There was that once. It was like one particular stretch, and then his fouling was really bad in that game. Which isn't that really why. Um, he didn't play that much. Was foul, and then he was just he had five fouls, play. and then. They were just better suited to have somebody else out there yeah. against that particular team. But hey, guys, our next question is about Josh Giddy. It comes from I am Kev Kev Bot, who says, "Is Josh best suited as sixth man? He plays his best when one or more starters were out of the lineup. Playing him like Harden could be best." Thoughts? So that is true. He did have really, you know, more consistent games when J Dub or Shea or both were out. It did make me think about it, and it reminded me of an old conversation that we had, which was, can Shea, Can we figure out how to play Shea and Giddy together? Mm-hmm. Which I think they have somewhat, but it did, it, it did kind of bring up that conversation in my mind again just because he was so much more consistent when there was no Shea or J-Dub. The biggest problem with putting Josh on the bench is that they don't have big wings coming off the bench. Mm-hmm. They have guys that are like 6'3", 
Wiggins is the biggest guy at like six five. And Josh he's slight. Josh is like legitimately six eight, and he's a big guy. And it's I, I really think that if they want to change the starting lineup, they need to draft somebody or acquire somebody that's bigger that mm. can play that spot. Because you're giving up like if we want to complain about rebounding, which we haven't heard a lot lately because the Thunder have been a lot better recently. But if you want to be better at rebounding, removing Josh from the starting lineup is not the way to do it. Unless you replace him with Muscala. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> or Bismack. Or Bismack, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they want to do. But you know what I mean. Jay will yeah, I mean, there there will be situations, I mean, depending on who it is. If it's the Pelicans, no. But Lakers? I mean, Lakers, you could. You could play you could play Jay Will out there instead of Giddy and then bring Giddy off the bench. I think there are situations where it works. I, there, I, but I don't think I... They're not going to no, do Giddy's it. No, Giddy's starting. They're not going to and do it. And he has been, like, way better. And even against the Spurs, which I know is like a throwaway game, but like... His just what you've seen that's so distinct to me, even in the Kings game where I was, you know, a little critical of him. He is being so aggressive to the basket. Yeah. He is working hard to get and finish at the rim. And and I would assume, and I, I know you can look this up better than I can, but like I'm assuming his finishing at the rim has just exponentially improved over these last two months. I mean, because it looks like he's finishing that's really, de- really well. That's definitely what the eye test says is that he's been much better at the hoop. Well, <clears throat> he hasn't been um, you know, going to that floater as quickly as he did earlier. Yeah, he, he was settling a ton. And some of that is the question that well, you asked. The floater's also falling though. It's the yeah, true. Okay, but, last 15 games for Josh. He's 70% yeah, at the rim. Yeah. Wow. And 50% in non in the paint non-restricted area shots. Which is very good. Yeah, that's game changer. That's that's the entire dynamic changer for him. You look at the whole season, it's not going to be as good. <laughs> Hold on. Passes the eye test. So he was 60% for the rest of the season, including the 70% that I just talked about the last 15 games. And 42%. I mean, he's 10 percentage points better yeah. in both categories. Yep. And like, and actually like worse than that, because he had I mean the period of the seventy percent is baked into this. Like he's a he's an he's a different player. Different player. Mm. And, and it's, it's all, all mentally. It's like all it just all, all of it's head. up here. And like he's talked about it. He was really I mean he's been great lately, not only like on the court, but just yeah being it, able to talk it, about it, everything. I don't want to get into it, but just the human side of these get into young what men. Yeah. These young men and they're the just the mental side of it where he's a 20 year old guy dealing with tremendous challenges, some of his own creation. I understand all of that, but like I I just think we always, always, always neglect that side of it. But I, yeah, for sure. Having a having this quality of giddy, it just changes the whole potential of this team. Yeah. I, I thought at the time like Everything that Josh is going through, on court, off court, everything that's happening, it's either going to make him like so much like more mentally strong and like or a, a better player, NBA. or like he's going to have to leave to yep. figure it out. Yep, and that could be on another NBA team. Or that go could, back to Australia. Could or, be potentially, yeah. you know, yeah, back to Australia. I mean, it could have gone either way. But I think this last month has made it to where, at least for me, I feel far more like, yep, sign him to the extension, whatever it is. Yeah. Within I mean, reason, you know, yeah. that, that he is worthy of. And with the thunder throw at him, I won't be shocked by or frustrated by What are we talking yeah. about? Estimated extension? I mean, I don't even... I, I don't know. I don't... Th- this is all just conjecture. Like, I, I don't know. Well, numbers are so different today. Like, you look at Drew Holiday's deal that he got a few days ago, and you're like, what? But yeah. it's Almost not, 34 it's not a season. Abnormal, it's not an abnormal amount of money. Or like what they're talking about, Grayson Allen getting in the, on the market for at eighty or whatever you talked about, and you, yeah, the fact that you said that and it was like, yeah, that's not that seems reasonable. I'm like, that's reasonable twenty a year for Grayson Allen. I know. So it's like, who knows what Josh is going to get, but it'll I be know. worth it. They also need to do what they can this off season to keep Wiggins and Joe. Like I just those guys, they should be a part of this core for yeah ten years too. 
Yeah, I think I mean, and that's why when people that are frustrated about the the Hayward deal, he was fantastic like, against the G League Spurs. He was great. Yeah. But even if you're even if you still don't like Hayward the player, the trade itself is going to make it possible to extend these two guys, Joe and Wiggins, yep. this summer and keep them. Yep. Rather Worth than it. let them go. And like maybe they're not here for like the duration of yeah, but keep this. them for another three to but five. Like you could even extend them and then put them as part of a trade. Like those guys will have value. No, like wh- why? I'm just saying. One like, of them saved basketball, and the other one is an elite three point shooter. Those are the guys you want well, I, forever. I would love to keep Isaiah Joe like, and Wiggins for for a long period of time. What's what? What? Up? What? And Wiggins. I like Wiggins too. I like Wiggs a lot. Mm. But you're not saying the same thing about him. Yeah. Mm. You are, you're being a little coy. Mm-hmm. Little boy. You're having some cake. You're trying to eat it, too. I'm trying. You're trying. What is that? Look at those geese. geese. The geese those are beautiful geese outside. outside. I don't have cake, but I'm eating it. What is the alter- What's the alternative? Not, not throwing it? it? No, you can't. You only can you remember eat the movie it Hook? It. Huh? You remember the movie Hook? Yeah. Where they had the imaginary food. Yeah, they're eating cake, but they're yeah. not having it. You're doing it, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A perfect reenactment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Ah, cake. <laughs> hey, guys, are you miffed? And are you miffed? Miffed. 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 Two of them. Uh huh. Are you miffed or are you pissed? It's 7.30. Jay has to go. I do have to go. So do I. <laughs> my eyes, man. So do I. Dr. Mass. My, my eyes are so itchy. Uh, I've got a great optometrist named itchy. Evan Don, and he's fantastic, and he's hooking me up with the eye steroid. Mm, but ew. basically since January. Your eyes are going to be huge. Muscle the bulging, eyes. Yoked eyes. Pumping iron eyes. So. See I, so far. I'm just annoyed. So since January, or does it make your eyeballs shrink? I know we can't talk about weather, but let me just say this. Since January, tree freaking pollen, the allergy rates in Oklahoma for trees have been very high on the scale since January. Yeah. Yeah. So every single day since the beginning of January, I have felt like I wanted to itch my eyeballs out of my head, and I'm so freaking tired of it. Do it. it. I dare it you to do it. It me. Dang. 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 I, you got to match that energy, bud. I, I'm not. Oh, Jay, I did imagine you come to a fry pod with glasses. We're like, take your glasses off. I you can't, take my them eyes off. Eyes are gone. Yeah, you just have like holes in your eyes. That's holes where your eyeballs used to be. In the running for top two to three nightmares for me. My eyes are so sensitive. Like I, I never had glasses. I can't imagine having to have like LASIK eye surgery. It freaks me. What about, yeah, what I don't about like contacts? Kind of, I don't like touching your eyeball. Nope, haven't done it. Never done it. I got good vision. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, Five of them. I have good vision too. But I I think I would like to have uh, glasses so I could look smarter and use them to gesture at trial. Do it. Just do it. Just start wearing wearing a monocle. I don't think you can gesture as well with that. You just get to tweak it. You're talking about one that's like attached to your head? A monocle? Yeah. (laughs) That you wear the monocle like Mr. Peanut. Yeah, but you were like adjusting it like it's something yeah. where you're like focusing like no, a I'm, camera. Lens. No, it's like here and you put it there, but it sits on your head. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't like it's That's not Elon. Attached. You, t- you, you, yeah, yeah, it is. It, it will be there. soon. And you, and you Elon's monocle. Working on don't you have to like kind of like force your eyeball I mean, to hold? Have it you in? ever seen someone wear one in person? No. No, because and that's it, a pretty big deal. Are they even real? Is that your question? I Do don't, they exist? I think they like kind of sit I'm back in it. here, like. Like, like you know, it kind of recesses there. I think it like goes in there. Mm. I don't know that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You know they say you, you can't the have a, Andrew. A monocle. Yeah. And Got any appliance issues? Too. Yeah, I dropped my computer last week. The one right oh. here? Not this one, because that one is in New York. Getting oh, fixed. this yeah. is a new one. Yeah, I busted. That was so mad. Oh, and also, man. what were you doing? You think that's why your camera didn't work this morning? You know what? I have. I. I mean, it's very possible. Were you holding it with like one hand, or are you being? Were you being? No. Uh, were you playing flippant? Were you, no, were felt, you throwing it around with your kids? Throw it. Yeah, we were playing frisbee with it, <laughs> and it just freaking broke. 
How did that happen? Uh, no, it fell out of my backpack and hit the ground. Andrew, what do you think about WrestleMania? <clears throat> I didn't go. Didn't go. I didn't go. He missed the men. Did that miff and PV you? No, but it was fun. No. And the men were slapping meat at WrestleMania. We are going to have a watch party for the away games. <clears throat> so be on the lookout for details. Could be Wednesday that. the 24th. Could be Thursday. Only oh. time will we'll tell. tell. Yeah. That's what they say. So get ready. We got playoff basketball. Hey, next week, and next week, we will have playoff previews all week long. And I am, depending on who it, you know who the opponent is, we'll try to get as many guests as possible. Will Guillory? More like, I mean, definitely Will Guillory if it's the Pelicans. Pelicans. Yeah. More like peeved off previews. Why you, is I'm your next so week just miffed? I'm peeved. So much content. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things cooking. Yeah, for sure. What do you uh, think about Cody Rhodes, Luke? <coughs> He's a champion. Finally, he did it. He finished his story. Now a new story begins. It's very exciting. He earned it. He really was very good. He, however, he kind of has a lisp that drives me crazy. Andrew, turn the podcast off. <laughs> Andrew, Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you guys again on Monday.